Libra. Happy October 2017. Okay, so my favorite time of month. I love the fall season. I love the leaves changing colors and the crisp air. I just love this time of year. Anyway, okay, so um, the Rumi card, I pulled a Rumi card for all the signs across the board and what I got is a new gown. So this new gown is being given to all of us um, as a gift for learning lessons, following our truth, and growing, and being passionate about following the light, going to the light, finding our way, and, and we're all on this journey. So this is the journey that we're all on, and the Rumi card is basically the gown that's being given to us is one that we've earned, okay? And so it comes with great passion, growth, and probably, you know, without question, it comes with lessons that have been learned. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be able to be given this beautiful gown and, you know, start a new journey, a fresh journey, uh, knowing what we know now, right? That's what life's about. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. I love this huge Raider, Rider Weight, I said Raider, <laughs> Rider Weight, sorry, deck, which I absolutely love because of the intricate detail on the cards because they're so massive, right? I love these cards and they're slippery little suckers too. Okay, Leo. Oh, I said Leo. There's got to be a Leo going on. In Libra's life somewhere along the line, a friend, a co-worker, someone who's, or, or it's you about to roar. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay. All right. So, Libra, before I, I talk about these cards in front of me, I also wanted to, um, intuitively, I got the Libra, uh, leading the way, intuitive guidance from the universe. So Libra, this month of October, you will be leading the way in whatever way that is. And I can't, I can't, you can't make this up. Look, this is you leading the way, charging forward, ready to go, knowing your direction and saying, I know I'm on the right path. The horse is, 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 saying, I got this, uh, it, the truth, everything's been laid out, everything's, we're on a journey, we're on the right path, okay? So, the first card I got, though, next to that card is the Six of Pentacles, which, what I'm, what I always see is, because it's a six, it's about balancing out the scales, right? So, something happened um, with your job, your relationships, whatever it may be, Libra, you have balanced out the scales. And I'm going to say this for yourself. You are no longer sitting on the sidelines saying, what do I do? You know, what do I do here? You are now in, in you have empowered yourself with great passion to move and charge ahead, forward. You are leading the way. This is totally perfect for this reading. Um, you're the Libra. You're the air sign leading the way. And of course, now what do we have? We have a celebration. We have a celebration because out of all of this, you balanced yourself. You have now found your way forward in whatever that is, be it love, be it your life, just your personal life, just yourself, working on yourself, you have found your way. You have found your way and you are balanced. And that's, I mean, my God, you're a Libra. You're definitely balanced. And you're celebrating that balance. Because in the past, you probably were not, you were a little uneven there. Things were uneven for a while for you Libras. And now you're, now you're charging ahead. And you're 
putting on this gown with huge celebra celebratory feeling. Celebrating with friends and saying, you know, hey, I did it. I move, I'm moving forward. And you are in charge. You are in charge. You're leading the way. And, and you're saying, get out of my way. <laughs> right? Whoever doesn't want to be this with me had to go. Because Libra is charging ahead. So whoever wasn't in balance, which is the most important thing for a Libra, is their balance. If there was anything that was not balanced in the Libra's life, that was taken out of their life. You said, we're done. We're done. I need to balance my life. Now, that could be balancing your work with your home life, you know, responsibilities, etc. But whatever happened, happened exactly the way it should. It could have also been, and I'm going to say it, it doesn't always mean it, but because I have a six and a three, so an ending happened because something was not balanced. That's an ending. And it could have been due to a third party. There was a third party in the situation. This is you with your red cape. You know, I love capes. Capes are coming in for the fall season, by the way, FYI. Okay, so anyway, so that's what's going on, okay? You are charging ahead, and you are also charging, Be you are guarded. You're definitely guarded because you have, you know, your guards up. You're a knight. Your guards up, but you don't care. You're charging forward. And you're saying, The most important thing in my life is balance. And look, this isn't balanced, right? Three's a crowd. Oh, yeah. Hello. Three's a crowd. Three's a crowd. Yeah, we got this. We got this, Libra, in my rising... Actually, my moon sign, I apologize. My moon sign is Libra. So, all right, so now I'm going to pick these, uh, we're going to depict what we're charging ahead to, we just want the truth. I will also clarify the Six of Pentacles to see what we are charging, you know, we charged ahead and said, whoops, hold on, we charged ahead and said, you know, this isn't working for me. There's three people going on here, and it's not happening. Now, if you're in a significant relationship and or marriage and everything's peaches and cream, this may not apply to you, okay? It could be, your ch it could be a child, right? Look, this could be an imbalance in a family home. You know, children, children may be you know, asking for a lot of money. There's always, you know, when you have kids, money's always going out, right? That's what I saw in this card. There's always someone wanting something. And now you said enough's enough, go get a job, right? Or something like that. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. We still have a three and a three. It's a six, but we still have three people in these two cards. So that means someone said three's a crowd. All right, let's let's get um let's get clarifying card on the six of pentacles and the knight of swords. I want two here. Okay, see, it's exactly what I'm saying. We we went from a five to a six. So money was definitely being given out or something with money with regard to money is not balanced. 
Um, someone wants more than they're giving. It doesn't necessarily mean the in the literal sense of money, but it certainly can because it pentacles represent literal cash flow, right? Money going out, not enough coming in, etc. But in this case, the clarifying card is five, so it's not an ex exorbitant amount that's being given out. Um, or someone just, you know, doesn't see the balancing in a relationship's not, the relationship's not balanced. Someone's giving more than the other, you know? So that was, we went from the six to the five. So that's not a huge decline, right? It's not, you know, that's not really the case. I'm looking at this really and truly as just something was out of whack. It could have been, I don't know, a child support issue. You know, one's giving more than the other in terms of, I don't know, I gave so much and you pay this much and there's just not a balance there, okay? It could be because these, I don't know why these remind, these are like two kids, two teenage kids, no less. <laughs> could be. This, of course, isn't a teenage child. This is a baby. But no, regardless of what the card depicts, there's imbalance. Six and five. That's an imbalance, okay? All right, so someone charged ahead and walked away. The card's like this, but it doesn't matter. It still depicts the same thing. This is you. You're leaving a situation. You charged for, forward and said, this isn't working for me. I want this. I want this celebratory, happy life. And you're not pulling your weight. You're not pulling your weight in this relationship. So I got to go. And that's what this is about. So I'm inclined to think that's what it's about. Now, if it doesn't resonate for you, it's not going to every month. We know that, right? You can um, check your 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 particular moon and rising sign if this is your sun sign. In you know, it doesn't matter. But I have to tell you, something's not balanced. Libra is all about balanced, and when that when there is an imbalance, then someone has to had to walk, and that was you. Because this is you. And you're taking these lessons because these are patterns of thought processes that have actually been in balance for a while. I'm going to say six months because we have two sixes here. Okay? So, it doesn't matter how long it takes for us to learn things. It doesn't matter, right? As long as we learn them. You are now charging forward. It doesn't matter what the cards... We're charging forward, okay? We're... Now, finding our balance, we've regained our, what? We've regained our um, empowered. We empowered ourselves. We regained our self-worth. And we said, enough's enough. And we're taking this new robe with dignity, with love, great passion. And we're moving forward toward the light with, I mean, with, with confidence, with determination, with passion, with purpose, moving forward with purpose. How much, how much more beautiful can they, can that really get when you have this Ten of Cups going on? Yeah, Ten of Cups, guess what? Guess what? This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning in October for you. And it's beautiful. And it's something to really, really give. It's a celebratory feeling. It's, I made it, I did it, I'm empowered again. I now have my life back. And the angels are saying, yes. Okay? Yes. It's not an easy road. This journey, this journey, my friends, is not easy. 
for anyone. It's just not easy. And the more that you can see the lessons that you learn on your particular journey, then you now say to yourself, oh my God, I feel so empowered. I'm leading the way. I'm leading the way to my own life, to my own truth, to my own purpose. And I know I'm on the right path. This card tells us all that we're on the right path. And this is saying that you're leading the way for others, Libra. Okay? So that was my download. It's beautiful. All right, now let's go to the romance because this, I'm thinking this is romance, but hey, it could be someone not balancing. Yeah, it could also be about a, a someone who has deep romantic feelings and wanted, you know, there's a wedding that could be taking place. Someone's worth waiting for. It's coming. Because you took this, because you took, you took it upon yourself, Libra, to find the love, the love for yourself in order to walk away from something that was not balanced. That's when the universe gifts you with something very valuable, which is the truth. What is more valuable than the truth in love, right? In life. In life. But since life is love, then, you know. Look, you're calling in your soulmate, and it could mean very well take you to the chapel. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Or... Let's just say, if you are in this blessed union, just know that the balance of the scales have now been balanced and that you have balanced it out in this particular union and there is great happiness in the home. Right? That's what that means too. Okay. So now, though that, this card kept popping up like big time. So I'm just going to go three cards and let it just, let it roll. Romantic feelings, of course you deserve love, and this could be the one. And of course be optimistic, please. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. You know you deserve love. And that fell under this card. These cards, sorry. You know you deserve love. You are charging ahead and saying, I deserve love. Venus is pointing the arrow right at you, Libra, and you are on your way. You're leading the way. And this is your gift. This is your gift. Your gift is, to, is this. Romantic feelings that are authentic. This is a love, a great love. I'm not just talking candles and wine and, and all of that. I'm talking about when Venus strikes love toward you and your partner, whoever, this is from the universe, love. True, authentic love. Love that means this could be the one. Love. It just happens. Because it happens because you did this. It, it happens because you balance the scales. And you said, no, I'm not going to be involved in something that's not balanced because that's not, you know, that's not who I am. I'm the scales. And I have to be balanced. And when a relationship, be it balancing career and home life, be it balancing a relationship that came with many lessons, six months worth of lessons, six months worth of lessons, okay? You walked away from that and said, okay, I'm done with this facade. I'm going into a new life with a new gown and I'm gonna walk my truth. It will be balanced. It will be a deserving romantic love. And it could be the one. 
and this could be your gift. This is your gift. It not, it's not could be. It is your gift. Divinely guided. Beautiful love. Beautiful, romantic, innocent love. When Venus shoots that arrow, this is what happens. So, I am very proud of you, Libras, and you are showing us the way forward. And I'm so excited, even. <laughs> I'm like really excited that this is my moon sign. All right, so anyway, I wish you all a blessed October, and I will see you next month. Ciao.